Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com and you join me today in my library, probably. And today we're looking at a brand new book by Corey Barker. It's called Photoshop Tricks for Designers, How to Create Badass Effects in Photoshop. Now they say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I think in this case it's a pretty good idea of what you'll find inside. Lots of Hollywoody type effects, including the flare there, the double exposures, and the bullet hole, and all that kind of thing, all within this book. There's nine chapters in all, and let's briefly go through those. First of all, chapter one is text effects, image inside text, a clever little 3D trick it says here, and Stone Age text. Then chapter two is commercial effects, including blending different images of the same subject, Hollywood inspired effects, and there is another chapter later on called Hollywood style effects, um, but here it's Hollywood inspired. And then blending pans and images. Chapter three is graphic effects. This is really cool, uh, including geometric shape elements, graphic from a photo blended with a texture, which works really, really well. I do like that chapter. Then photo effects, including a sketch fade effect and quick and easy double exposure effect. Then my favorite chapter of all, texture effects, blending graphics with seamless textures, blending textures through styles and masking, that kind of thing. Also in there, there's a little bit about mobile app brush effects, and Corey uses the Capture app from Adobe there. In chapter six, light effects, the design of bokeh, light flares and rings, those kind of things that we associate with Corey Barker. Chapter seven is color effects, using blending effects, using shape layers, painted color effects, amongst others. Chapter eight, that's where we've got this Hollywood style effects, silhouette design, grunge style effects, room with a city view. And then finally chapter nine, which is 3D effects, including instant macro effects using 3D. Now, if that's whetted your appetite, let me just read you the first thing that Corey puts in this book. It's a set of questions. And the first question is who should have this book? It's kind of answering a question that I as a reviewer should be giving to you, but let's see what Corey has to say. He says, this book was designed to be a quick access handbook, mainly for working designers and artists, but that doesn't mean that photographers or even hobbyists can't get something out of these pages either. Whether you need quick instruction or even just a little inspiration, this book is for you. And I totally agree. This book is for you, whether you are a designer or a photographer that wants to add a few elements to his photographs. But it's interesting here that Corey says, whether you need quick instruction or even just a little inspiration, because that's where this book sits. It's not a book that will teach you how to use Photoshop. It'll tell you the steps you need to get to a final end result. Interesting then that the last few pages take us through an index. So we might have something about channels, we look up channels, it's just that channels has been used. There's no description of what channels does or how to manipulate it. It's just within the context of that tutorial. So the final index is a little bit redundant. The tutorials themselves are really well laid out. As you might expect, we've got half a page of captured images and then half a page of text. And the steps are really well laid out. They're quite meticulous in their detail. So some of the steps can be quite long but uh, easy to follow. The screenshots are easy, nice and clear, and there's just about enough of them, I would say. Sometimes when you get a book of this kind, you often feel, what well, I do, that there's far too many screenshots that they're taking away from the book itself. But in this case, it kind of balances up reasonably well. The effects themselves are really diverse, as you've probably got an idea from when we went through the chapters. A nice diversity, so no matter what you're trying to do, you can always go in and try something. That part about being inspired, that's pretty cool because you can have a look at this and go, okay, I want to do something similar to that, but maybe not quite like that. And if you know your way around Photoshop, you could probably do it. Or you can just change a couple of the sliders or maybe just change a few bits and pieces in the steps to get a different effect and learn that way. It is mainly for designers and it's gonna be somebody that maybe wants to just grab this off the shelf to get these different effects though, to be totally honest with you. As a tutorial writer myself, of course, I look to Corey as being one of the greats and his tutorial style, of course, is very, very good, very easy to follow and it really all fits into place. 
Okay, it sells on Amazon at the time of recording for £18.99 or $20.99. And there's links to both of those on the Tip Squirrel page where you're watching this tutorial. Okay, that's it. We've been having a look at how to create badass effects in Photoshop by Corey Barker. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for joining me here. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.